uh, well, a lot of people would be at, afraid. I mean, if society, if, if humanity does build these machines, and then they start ratcheting themselves up with ever greater capacities, then they, they could think a million times faster than we do because they're thinking at electronic speeds. Whereas our human brains, we think at chemical speeds, which is maximum like two brain cells or neurons, as they're called. They signal, they send electronic signals uh, from one to the other at a maximum speed of about 100 meters a second. That sounds pretty fast, but it's nothing in comparison to uh, electronic signals, which is pretty much the speed of light, which is a million times faster. So, so these creatures, these, these artilects, could think a million times faster. They would very probably be based on nanotech capabilities. So you would have virtually unlimited memory. Right? So you could put virtually the whole of humanity's uh, total knowledge in, into one artificial brain about, about this size. You know. So they'd be immortal. They could change their structure like in milliseconds. They, they could perform um, evolutionary or evolutionary engineering on parts of themselves. A lot of people ask whether the singularity will make us happier, whether abolishing scarcity would really make us happier, whether AI can make us happier. I think happiness is actually a fairly complex concept. So about, about biology and life extension, this is one of the AI applications that has interested me the most because as well as being a way to put AI to work in the real world, it can directly benefit me and you and everyone else out there. There's hardly any family in the world that isn't touched by disease of some kind. And so far there's no family in the world that isn't touched by death, right? I mean, so, so far everyone who's gotten old has died.